Morning everybody. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Happy Friday to everyone. We got a sunny day today, but it is cold out here today. So uh, behind me here we got a 2022 Renegade Valencia 38BB. BB being bunk beds. You can see the two windows and on the side there. Like always kind of is a telltale sign we're looking at a bunk bed model. So uh, the Valencias, we'll start up front here. <clears throat> um, first off, this all the Valencias are built on the S2RV chassis built by Freightliner. Custom coach chassis, FCCC. And um, it's got the uh, 6.7 liter Cummins diesel engine. You got 800 pound foot of torque. Nice thing about a front engine is all the easy access to all your components here. Here's a fuel, the, the change filter indicator here on the air filter, um, windshield wiper fluid. You can see the big red engine block there. And then um, you come around to this side. So we have um, uh, just something to talk about down low here. So not that you ever want to get in a collision, but these pieces here on the bumper here are breakaways. You can kind of see where they're bolted here if you get a shot inside of here. But not that you ever want to get into a collision or something. But if you ever did have to replace just one piece, not replacing the whole bumper, um, just maybe one side of the right side or left side if you're getting this, some sort of a fender bender, if you will. Um, on this side, you can see where you have easy access to the uh, dipstick on the engine oil, <clears throat> the power steering fluid is uh, the reservoir again easy access to get to everything if you if you like to work on your own um, engines and do your own oil changes and things like that you can appreciate to have a, a front engine and easy access to all these components belts and hoses and dipsticks and everything like that so um, i'm going to close this and if you notice when it closes it's got that nice soft close feature And then these, these are your latches to pull it tight. Coming around the side here, um, first thing I want to talk about, uh, since we're on this side, I got the slide in right now, but I just thought I'd point something out. Let me get the phone to pair here. So I've got this phone, my, my, my app paired to the Firefly system inside. And if you can see, I've got it on uh, setting for slides and awnings. So I'm gonna extend I'm going to hold down the extend, and if you notice, the front slide here is going out on its own just with the touch of a button here. Of course, I do have to hold it down the whole time until it extends all the way out. <clears throat> and while that's going out, if you notice, it's clearing the doors. I've got the doors open. I'm not having to worry about doing any damage to my compartment doors. The way this is designed, those compartment doors are nice and clear, and free from any contact with the slide while it's operating. Um, so all the newer diesels are gonna have diesel exhaust fluid. That's what this little fill is here. So it's got a 10 gallon reservoir. That's where your diesel exhaust fluid goes. Um, you've got a, a plug here. If you wanna plug in to the block heater on the engine, that's where you can actually access it. And then, um, again, being a Super C motorhome, you've got nice, easy handles to get in and out of the RV for the driver and for the passenger on the other side. Those are air ride seats, adjustable steering. We'll go over that in a little bit when we get inside. Let me run down the side here. So standard on a Valencia, you get an 8D uh, battery for the house and then uh, with a 3000 watt inverter. This did get an optional, if you look in here in this compartment here, we've got the optional three lithiums and this also has the 375 watt solar panels on the rooftop. Um, a couple of cranking batteries there on the, the black batteries there, your chassis batteries. And also uh, this location all the way tucked back in the back there's a compressor for the air. So this comes with a 50 foot air hose, which you'll see in a little bit on the other side. And that's um, where you tap into the air on the coach to put air in other vehicle tires or the coach's tires. And moving down this side, 
We've got the propane tank. Um, this does have a three burner cooktop inside. You've got a 10 gallon gas and electric hot water heater system and uh, the optional quick connect, which you'll see on the other side as well. Um, coming down this way, we've got two 75 gallon tanks. This is your black and your gray water tanks. It's where your holding tanks are located. Those are heated tanks. You got 12 volt heat pads on the holding tanks. And coming down this, sta this station here is where your dump, your, your gate valves are located here. Notice they're not exposed to the elements. So with this door closed, your gate valves are in here. You've got a retractable uh, hose reel. This is your hose. You pull it out, push a button, it reels it in. Uh, you also have right here, so this goes here. It's winterized right now, but this has a whole house water filtration system. Place to store your sewage hose. Um, some low point drain lines down below, but everything's nice and etched into this this metal uh, board here, so you're not gonna nothing's gonna wear out. That'll always keep its appearance here for all your labels for the sewer flush, dump tank, city water. Everything's labeled easily, easy to see there. Uh, coming to the back, um, up top here we have your fuel fill. So this one I've mentioned this on some previous videos, but some nice features about the Valencia product you uh, built on the S2 RV chassis. You've got a hundred gallon fuel tank and this is where you fill it. So you're not having to worry about filling a 50 gallon tank on one side and a 50 on the other where you could get a, a, an incorrect reading sometimes if you will on those on the other chassis. But one side fill you pull into your fuel station you're just having to worry about filling it on the driver's side. 8,000 watt diesel generator That'd be standard on a Valencia. And then this back storage compartment is also where your transfer switch is located. You have an electrical outlet back in here, um, retractable power, power reel, push button here for winding that back in. Coming around back, we've got all LED lights, your running lights, your brake lights, your reverse lights, all LEDs. Uh, you notice up top, we've got the camera. I didn't mention it, this does have side cameras too. Um, it does have a brake controller, a seven way plug. 12,000 pound hitch. That exhaust down there is gonna be on the generator. Now we're on the uh, patio side, so I'm opening back up the, uh, the app because I've got a slide room that's in here, and I also have the awning, so I've got the awning, I've got the awning light on, switch over to awnings, go to extend, you can see where I can control my awning, you can control other things too, like your lights, check on your holding tanks, turn your generator on and off. Um, so it does some cool, a lot of the features you can do on the Firefly inside, you can do on your, your mobile device. So get that out, and then we'll run this slide out. <clears throat> and then while that's going out, we've got some great storage down below here. More storage here. There's that LP Quick Connect I was talking about. So if you want to bring along, along an outside barbecue grill, you can hook up to the propane system and have a little outside barbecue. So that slides all the way out. Let me get to the or awning. Let's get to the rear slide. I'm gonna bring this out now. Notice you got your Gerard slide covers. You got a Gerard mounted awning. You don't have these awning arms coming down the side of the coach. They're kind of built in. That is a wind sensor awning. You get some high winds and Moving on that awning, it'll start coming back in. Again, it's nice being able to run my slides with my mobile device. If I had trees or another vehicle parked next to me, I wanna make sure I'm not getting too close. I can eyeball it while I'm standing right outside running the slide out. More storage down below. There's that 50 foot air hose I was mentioning on the other side. And then those are slide locks. They do come shipped with these. If you get on some rough terrain, you want to lock your slides in position when they're in. That's what those slide locks are for. 
and then we got additional storage here. We got a we've got a deck plate down below here, so if you want to plug anything in, electric 110 operated, you can run the line out, so you can still close your door. Maybe you have some uh, some of those uh, bicycles, those uh, electric bicycles, you can plug them in, run the line out, and keep them charged with the door shut here. And then your inverter is going to be located here. You got a 3,000 watt inverter. And then again, some more storage. Um, just want to show you something that I, I didn't talk about, but these doors, they've got the, you've got the dual latching uh, compartment doors. In my opinion, these are probably some of the best doors in the industry. They don't bounce back on you. When, you, when you're leaving, you got everything packed up. You close those doors. They're not fighting you. They're nice and solid. And then you got your outside TV. But yeah, just these doors, very dependable. You're not worrying about it. You get off. Occasionally, they might get off an adjustment, but uh, they're very dependable uh, baggage doors. So. Uh, why don't we go inside and take a look at the floor plan. <clears throat> so this is um, this interior. It's called the iced latte interior. Um, up here in the front, well, first of all, overhead, we've got the overhead bunk, which is standard on a Valencia. Let me set this down here. So this panel here pulls forward. Very easy to slide back and forth. And there are, there are these little latches so you can hold it in place if you want to hold it in place when it's forward, if you want to hold it in place when it's back. That's what these are for. Um, you have up here overhead, we've got Blu-ray player. This one did come um, with the optional in-motion satellite. Um, so it's all pre-wired for satellite does, um, or receivers, pre-wired for satellite receivers. And it does have the in-motion. And then of course you have more storage here if you want to put a game system in you can or additional receivers um, we've got the optional overhead tv in the bunk area there's a little light switch for the overhead bunk and then I'll get down here to the driver's area these seats do swivel around um, uh, it got, does have the hydraulic braking system here so it, uh, you can it says EQ smart level. Uh, you can actually pair your phones to the um, Bluetooth. If you want to operate the jacks from your mobile device, you can do that as well. <clears throat> um, then you do have, you can, you've got a, a momentary switch here to, to raise and lower the rear end. If you're going through a dip or something, you need to lift. It's got a lift assist on the rear. Um, mirror heat, that's a, another momentary switch there. It's for your, um, uh, regen, if it's calling for the regen on the dash cluster here, um, maybe you're, it's a hot day and uh, you're hitting the red light after red light after red light, it won't regen on its own. If it's calling for it, um, you can hold this down and that'll burn off the diesel particulates in the um, muffler. And then let me turn this on here. We've got the Garmin. So it's got all kinds of different features on this, but it is, it's a docking station for it. It's also, let's see here. Um, if we go into the music here, control that. What kind of music you've been listening to here, Joey? That sounds pretty good. <laughs> Mute that, all right. But if, if a passenger wants to operate the Garmin system here, um, like I said, you can pass it to the capacitor in the back if they want to crank the turn on the tunes or if they want to navigate kind of a cool feature the way that just docks there for charging uh, it is a six-speed allison transmission um, up above here we've got usb port that's tied into the garmin system the fusion if you want to listen to your own tunes you can pu pu plug in on the fusion device here um, truck backup camera trailer backup camera what that is is if you have a trailer with a camera inside or outside you can toggle to that to that camera if it's plugged in so it does have that feature 
Um, and then down below here, we've got uh, a single stage um, engine brake. And then here's your door locks, and these are your windows, passenger window, driver window. And then on the other side over here, kind of hard to see from where you're at, but your cruise control, speed control, increase, decrease, your headlights, bright lights are there, and then um, accelerate, coast is going to be the, for the cruise control down below there. All right. And this steering wheel does have a little pedal underneath here, so I can push that in to telescope and tilt. <clears throat> Another thing, these are, you can hear them, air brakes. So you got air brakes on the S2 RV chassis for the Renegade Valencias. All right. Uh, let's go to the kitchen area here. As you're panning over to the kitchen area, you can see the overhead TV with the sound bar. This does this pull strap that just releases it. So if you want to pull it out and get a get an angle, maybe you're sitting over here in the booth area. Uh, you've got <coughs> excuse me, you've got some good storage here, a shelf to keep you know separation. And then um, something I'll point out, you know, Renegade, they don't use any cheap hinges. They got some heavy duty hinges. Those those will not hold up that shelf. So if you're if you're loading things in and in and out, it's easy to get in here and it's not creeping down on you. You got a convection microwave oven, three burner cooktop. Below the three burner cooktop is the house breakers and fuses. So this top one here is for the inverter. This is everything that's hardwired to the inverter. And then down below here would be for your shore power, the main system. And then right here behind this panel here is going to be some fuses. Again, these are all electrical items, um, boxes for the house, and uh, easy to get to. So slides are in, you still you need to get to it, no problem. The drawers are full extension drawer glides. Notice when I close them, the soft close. And then down below here, we've got a dedicated area for your trash. Always got to have a spot for your trash. You kind of see back behind there, there's your hot water heater system, some storage. Corian countertops. And we have a residential refrigerator with an ice maker. So this is all electric. So with that 3000 watt inverter that this comes with, you definitely want that on when you're traveling. The alternator will keep the house batteries charged while you're going down the road. And then your inverter will keep your food cold. More overhead storage. Optional. Stackable washer dryer. And we'll come around this way. We've got the, uh, the booth dinette. Seems to be ordered, I'd say, 90 five percent of the time somewhere in that range they do have an option for a freestanding table and chairs but uh, the booth on it is comfortable to sit at um, it does drop down and makes into a bed and then the sofa it's a fold and tumble sofa you're on the cushions you're not on an air bed um, so that that's a nice feature too again good storage here's that one of your cushions to make the dinette into a bed and then your shades, you've got all the roller shades, day and night throughout all the windows. And then these little black panels throughout, these are just some locations for the different lighting in the different areas of the coach. And then I uh, talked about Firefly out in the, when we were outside operating the slides and the awnings. So, um, this is your home screen, so I can turn all the lights on and off just by touch the button there or touch the button there to turn them back on. You can use your phone as well. You can keep an eye on your fresh water. Uh, by the way, you got 150 gallons of fresh water and then the gray is empty. That's 75 gallons of gray, 75 gallons of black. Propane, we got, you can see we got a full tank of propane at the moment. 
And then this button here, that turns your heat, your tank heat on, on the holding tanks what I was talking about outside. Water pump control, <clears throat> um, uh, hot water heater on gas or electric. Again, when, they're, when they light up red, they're on. Generator on and off. So this is kind of the home screen you probably use more than anything else. But if you want to go to the actual different zones for the lighting, there's that feature there. The generator controls, it does have built-in AGS. There's different trigger points you can set on the automatic gin start. If you want it to kick on at a certain time, you want it to turn on at a low voltage that you set it to, um, or keep the temperature controlled at a certain temperature inside if it's a hot day and you're not plugged in, but you want the generator to turn on so it turns the airs on it. Um, these are all features that we, we show you during your walkthrough orientations. We kind of demonstrate and let you kind of teach you how to operate all that. So. And then down below here, the, this little gear on the bottom left, that's where you can pair your mobile device. Like right now, I'm, I'm paired to it at the moment, but um, it's got a QR code you can take a picture of, and it helps pair it, or just enter in the, the PIN number. So that's, that's a little bit about the Firefly system. Uh, coming to the back, the bunk area. So we've got these nice big bunks. These are... I'd say about 6'5", um, so if you got adults with you, you can comfortably sleep adults in here. 6'5", on 6'2", I could easily sleep in one of these. And then you have the TVs in both bunk areas. If you notice too, both bunk areas have the electrical outlet and the USB ports, the little push button lights. Um, also, you got some storage down below here. You got three nice big size drawers. And then coming to the back, you'll notice on the wall here, we've got another Firefly panel. If you change the setting here, it they do feed off of one another. Um, these pocket doors, there's little straps that hold them, but they've got some solid, you've got some solid wood doors close off the bedroom from the bunk area. And then um, we've got a king size bed. We've got some good storage here. There's your 275 gallon fresh water. You got 150 gallons of fresh water. Your water pump, some low point drain lines. Everything's easy to get to in here. And this little bracket here holds this up when you're working in here. You've got on both sides of the bed, we've got nightstands. On this side, we got a pull-out drawer. And we got a cabinet down below. Kind of hard to see, but that, that does go back in there. And then we got electrical outlet with USB ports on both sides of the bed. Overhead storage, air conditioning. You got two, two airs. Um, again, with an 8,000 watt generator and the 50 amp service that this coach has, you can run all your TVs, all your electrical outlets, and your both air conditioners. Wardrobe storage, some good storage in front of the bed area here. And then you have um, USB, uh, HDMI, cable, hookups back here for the bedroom TV. And then right here, usually Renegade will always put, so you've got the wardrobe storage here, but this comes out. If you've got longer garments, you can take that out. Yeah, I want to go around here to the mid bath. So the 38 BB just comes with one bathroom. So just some things I'll point out in in the bathroom. So even with the door closed, if you notice above me here, I've got an air duct. So I'm around the air conditioner in the summertime. This room is going to stay nice and cool. But let's say in the wintertime, doors closed, you want heat in here. Well, if you look down below here, I've got a vent to heat this bathroom. And while you're down there, we got 
porcelain toilet, Corian countertops, and this has all this Corian, also the sink, so easy to clean. And then you have good storage for your medicine cabinet. And then the shower. I'll step in here. And I'm 6'2. Got plenty of headroom here. On um, the shower, heads are down on the ground. I can't quite reach down and get it, but um, it, this is an adjustable shower head, so it makes taking a shower in here easier for, for taller fellers like myself. And then coming back to the front, something I didn't point out, but um, you do have this door here to close off the bunk room from the living area. So, and that has an automatic locking mechanism. If you notice when I, when I close this door, you can feel it pull tight and it's so that when you're driving it, that thing's not slinging around, banging back and forth when you're driving. So um, that just about does it for this, this coach here. Again, we're in a 2022 Renegade Valencia 38 bunk bed model. Um, this is stock number 5N210706. And um, for those of you that might be interested in a bunk bed model, and this one should go, um, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to look into like our next, uh, next bunk bed model or any trade-ins. We might have some used ones at some of our other locations, possibly here. 